Welcome to a Fables a Day in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables a Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show. Fables number 26, The Battle of Fabletown, Chapter 7 of The March of the Wooden Soldiers, in which you need no explanation. The battle is underway as we begin. The first wave of wooden soldiers crash against the cement barrels. Prince Charming is on the wall with his saber, fighting the good fight. Bullets are having minimal effect, and the snow keeps calling her commands from the top floor of the woodlands. The Knothead army breaks through the first barricade, with the fables pulling back, leading the enemy directly into a grenadier trap. After all the grenades are used, then the big fighters get sent in. People like the Bears, the Rhinos, Beast, Grimble, and Hobbs. The heavies, basically. Even Boy Blue enters the fray, showing off phenomenal skill. While they attack, the rest of the Fables make a show of retreating to the woodland courtyard. The Knotheads follow en masse, walking right into the barrels of a line of cannons. Though taking out a lot of them, there's still enough to make this a hell of a fight, and Wayland Smith is riddled with bullets. While Boy Blue calls for the medic, he is hit. The Tory soldiers are using their fallen comrades' parts to repair themselves. The heavies are called for retreat, yet Baby Bear is gunned down. With the heavies out of the field, Clarethia, the raven dragon, flies high and unleashes her fiery breath. Pinocchio sees this, but brings up a great point. They're made from hardwood. Sure, they'll burn eventually, but now there's about 200 flaming attackers. Jack goes to warn Snow, and Pinocchio runs out past the cannons, commanding them to stop. He gets beheaded, unrecognized by the soldiers who had never seen him before. Snow calls the 13th floor to change priorities and make it rain to douse the fires. Frau Totenkinder, someone you may know from a gingerbread house, leaves to teach a well-deserved lesson. The fighting continues and Papa Bear gets shot. The burning enemy are charging the woodlands, but a blast of hurricane forest wind blows and destroys the rest of the toy soldiers. Bigby has come to save the day. Whew, <sighs> ah. The first time I read this, I needed a cigarette at the end of this issue. It feels like a large-scale battle. Unlike a lot of other comics, or films even, that have grand battles, it takes a very specific thing to make a battle feel big. A lot of entertainment media gets around this by focusing on one character in the battle, or small groups, but instead, we see all the characters we've grown attached to enter this fray, while never limiting itself to any boundaries. And yes, this death toll is going to be relatively high, but the fallout of this battle, and the death toll, we will get into next time.